2 p.m., 14 degrees, clouds over Jerusalem. In Israel, Remembrance Day commemorated those who died in the wars, and after that, Independence Day was celebrated. The Palestinians commemorated the Day of the Prisoner in remembrance of the Palestinian inmates in Israeli prisons. A director of the Israeli Secret Service once said, a hero to one is terrorist to another. UN officer Christoph von Toggenburg investigates violent clashes in refugee camps. <laughs> Mahmoud Al Salme is drifting aimlessly and no longer takes an interest in school sports. Rania Zrair is waiting for a phone call from prison. Two of her brothers are incarcerated. Up until World War I, Palestine was part of the Ottoman Empire. Afterwards, it became a British mandated territory. At the center of the mandate, Jerusalem. After Israeli independence, the city was divided in 1948. The east became part of Jordan, the west became the capital of Israel. During the Six-Day War in 1967, Israel conquered the eastern side of the town as well, extended its borders, and declared the whole of Jerusalem to be the capital of the country. This status is not internationally recognized. According to the UN, East Jerusalem is an occupied territory and claimed by the Palestinians as their capital. Fifty years ago, the Shwafat camp was built as a provisional refugee camp. The one-story houses are now a wild sprawl of buildings. The district is in Jerusalem, but cut off from the rest of the city by the wall. Mahmoud al Salme and his friends live in this district. They've dropped out of school, hang out in cafes. Mahmoud may sometimes earn money as a street seller. At the cafe, they sell knefi, a sweet cake made of semiola cheese and a dash of sugared water. Ben Zi Ben Shuam is a cab driver. His sister died 11 years ago. Mahmoud 
התאבד בתוך, בתוך הפרוצץ עצמו, בתוך הבית קפה, ולימור נהרגה בדרך לבית החולים. עשר דקות לפני הפיגוע דיברתי איתה. אמרתי לה לעזוב. עומד להיות פיגוע, היא אמרה לי בסדר, בסדר, וזהו, חייה נקטעו. נרצחה שם, מול בית ראש הממשלה. כמה שדיברתי, מה שעשיתי, לא עזר לי שום דבר. לא הצלחתי להציל אותה. עכשיו זה 11 שנה. 11 שנה שהיא לא פה. Let's quickly just go up to the, um, to the gate, have a look there. UN officer Christoph von Toggenburg and his colleague Jihad investigate an incident in the Palestinian refugee camp Aida. Aida is near Bethlehem, directly by the wall. Oh, it's, uh, it's a paper place. Wow. Do you see, do you see him? You can actually see him quite well, standing there. Watching yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. What I understand from the people who saw the soldier, they said there is a stage behind the wall. Yeah. And the soldier can stand and look to, towards this side. Yeah. So there's one... Um... Tear gas. Tear gas. It's one of the canisters. Yeah. Usually the kids come and collect it. Yeah, you can see the camera from yeah. here, look. Exactly. Yeah. And a few times I saw the soldiers coming out here, shooting down at the, at the kids. They use the technology to... You know, the other day when we came, it was like full, full with uh, tear gas canisters. Yeah. Look, here another one, a new one. Benzi's sister died on the 9th of March, 2002, during the second intifada, when Palestinians called for an armed revolt against Israel, including suicide attacks. They mainly hit buses and bars, public places where people meet. A monument was built for Limur Ben Shoha. <laughs> שהקמנו לזכרה של לימור, פינת ישיבה. לימור הייתה רעבה חברה, ואין מקום יותר סימפטי לשבת פה באנדרטה של לימור ולהרגיש שהיא נמצאת איתנו. כל יום אני עובר מפה, ביום, ביום הזיכרון הייתי פה, הכיתי, וכן, כל יום, כל יום. זו הדרך היחידה שלי שמובילה אותי ל... לעבודה ושאני אצא מגילון. 11 שנה כל יום, כל יום. גם אם הייתי נוסע לבסיס, גם אם הייתי נוצא עכשיו לעבודה. זה מושך. מושך אותי. It's actually open. Yeah, we can quickly see. Um, let's have a quick look if somebody's there. You want me to check or see? Let's go quickly upstairs. Yeah, yeah Mohammed. Yeah. Huh? He yeah, speaks yeah. English, but actually, yeah. Mohammed is Mohammed is very good. Um, uh, so we are. We actually just went to see Mohammed in the in the hospital, yeah. and um, and we just also uh, we we checked a bit about his situation. Can um, you just show me the the room yeah. for a moment? Maybe he been. I was on the computer. He was taking photo and gave me like uh, like we'll upload some things on the yeah, on the yeah. Facebook and things. 
The soldiers were, you see that, that uh, garbage there? Yeah, the garbage. The soldiers that shot him was behind the garbage there. Yeah. And he was like soldiers there because they didn't allow him the soldiers who were here. Mm -hmm. Just looking from here. And uh, the door was open like that. He went to the big photo. He got shot and he fell down in yeah. this uh, here. Oh, wow. Can you show me like a short? Yeah, I think I have like you go. On the cheek, this is like I can show. You, this is the last picture that Musa took before he gets shot. This is the shoulder that he shot. Yeah, yeah. He showed us the picture actually in the yeah. hospital. He has a printout of it. And this is like the face. Like I will show you. Like this is he take the photo, and this is he went out to take the other thing. He was pointing. Because I took the camera from him and I like, was taking the photo, photos of, for him when he was like in the house. You see how this kind of bullets can really kill because you can see this the hole where the bullet get and now you can see the bullet. It's yeah, a big one, yeah. like walk five centimeters like, yeah. inside. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, inside his face. Thrown to the center here when like uh, tear gas and shot like uh Khelda Shekali lives in the Shwafat camp as well. For him, as for all the inhabitants of the Shwafat camp, there's only one way into Jerusalem through the checkpoint. The wall was built during the second intifada. It's meant to serve as a protection for Israel against attacks. يعني هو بشوف كل يوم المنظر هذا بالصبح ده مزعل وداك انه هذول اليهود او الاسرائيليين شو التسميه اللي بسموهم اياها لانه صارت التسميات كثيره انه اخذوا احلى شيء بحياتي يعني امي بتعرفني على البلد كيف خسرت بلدها وكيف انطردت من بلدها او السجن اللي هو مخيم شوفاق هو عباره عن معتقل كبير في 55,000 نسمة في 2 كيلو مربع يعني عايشين ببكس، عايشين بتلاجات، احنا مش قادرين نعرف او نحدد شو السكنة اللي احنا عايشين فيها، يعني ماي الأيام الأخيرة كمان ضاعفوها أهل المخيم، صفت إنه الناس يا دوب بتقدر تشرب أو تتحمم أو تغسل أولادها، يعني حياة مش حياة، حياة سفر ولا سيجارة مالك زعلان As a UN employee, Christoph von Toggenburg is obliged to be neutral. He documents incidents and passes the information on. Julie Serabis, this is Julie Trami 408 of them. The UN doesn't file complaints on behalf of people. But what we do is more on a diplomatic level. We collect all the 
all the data about what is what has happened in order to to make our own intervention with the Israeli authorities because we do meet them on different different levels regularly and then we raise our concerns about uh, about these cases the problem let's say like with this with these interventions is that what happened happened so we in some ways the let's say like the frustrating part is we didn't we didn't avoid it from happening or we didn't stop it from happening um, we only basically report once the things have happened it is difficult um, to see sometimes that the the persecution basically or the the investigations that are led by the IDF against soldiers in most cases don't lead to anything there's no incitement against uh, the soldier in, in question, even though very often there's very strong evidence. Children growing up in the Shwafat camp know Israelis only as soldiers or a police force. Throwing stones as a dare is a test of courage. The wall, an invitation to climb. شو اسمه؟ أوه. غزلان كنا طير طيارات بدي اطلعها كمان مرة اسوي محاولة واطلعها اسلح بوتي واطلعها اطلع يلا تقدر تطلع اطلع روح انا اجري تلت وشوف اذا ما عرفت اطلعها بل 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 بسلح البوت انا اجري صرت Moran Mizrahi has to pick up her daughter from school. A hard day's work lies behind her.
YMCA is situated in West Jerusalem on King David Street, a building from the times of the British Mandate. At the top of the tower, a carillion was installed in 1933, a large chime with 35 bells. The heaviest weighs one and a half tons. The instrument is played every Sunday and on special occasions. Only very few musicians know how to play the carillion. Professor Gabi Scheffler is one of them. זאת מערכת מאוד פשוטה בעצם של תמסורות ומנופים. היא דורשת גירוזים פה ושם ושימונים. יש מה לשפץ פה, אבל זה לא לך רגע. ועוד פעם, המחשבה שהמערכת הזאת אומרת, כמו שהיא בקצה מגדל פתוח 80 שנה בדיוק מהיום, היא מדהימה מאוד. היא לא עברה שום פגיעה, שום ונדליזם, שום קורוזיה. והיא תוכל לנגן כנראה עוד 80 פעם עשר שנים, ואז נראה מה יצטרכו לעשות איתה. Inhabitants of the Shuafat camp remember the Palestinian prisoners. They hold speeches and there are rallies in the streets for the 5,000 prisoners. In the Shuafat camp, PLO and Hamas both march together. The PLO is a secular organization and rules over the West Bank. The Hamas is religious and rules over the Gaza Strip. The PLO has recognized Israel. Hamas wants to destroy it and build an Islamic state in the Holy Land. Two of Rania Zai's brothers are in prison. One of them was convicted 10 years ago for driving the perpetrators of an attack. When the second brother was arrested a few years ago, they were not told why. The brothers sometimes call their father. Rania's daughter wants to study at the Betzale, an Israeli arts academy in Jerusalem. Okay. <laughs> بس يمكن مجرد إنه أخوه محبوس وإنه هو من تميلا كتائب القسام أكيد بالحقول الاتهام. ألو. إلا إدعي لي اليوم رح تطلع نتيجتي. نعم. هذه مش مش إمك رحمة جنبي اليوم بدها تطلع نتيجتها في الجامعة لأنه مقدم للجامعة أساسا يقبلوها أولا. أهلا صباح الخير كيفك؟ تمام الحمد لله مشتقت لنا. Uh, 
ماشي ماشي يلا سلام ماشي بسلم عليكم خير الله يسلم وسلمي عليك يلا سلام باي ما عندوش وقت يلا بينا المهدى وقتهم محدد لانه بليفون مهرب <تصفيق> At the end of the rally, the prisoners' families are honored. Some inmates are on hunger strike because they're imprisoned without trial. الذي كان بطل عملية التلة الفرنسية وحكم عليه بثمان مؤبدات الله أكبر ولله الحمد זהו, נותן לאנשים שיהנו מהפינה הזו. פינה ש... כל יום אני עובר פה, כל יום אני רואה את זה. זו פינה שכולם עוברים יום-יום וקוראים, והרבה שמים פה פתקים. אבא תהיה חזק, יש לי פתק בבית, אבא תהיה חזק, משתתפים בצערכם. כל מקום אנחנו נשים עוד ועוד. מחבל התפוצץ, אנחנו לא נתנו לו, לא נתנו ללימור ללכת יחד איתו, ללימור נשאר איתנו.
6.30 p.m., 14 degrees. Over 200,000 Bedouin allegedly live in Israel and the West Bank, most of them in the Negev Desert. Less and less space is allocated to the nomads and their herds. Some Bedouin flee into the cities or villages, but most of them cling onto life in the desert. At the Ambassador Hotel, employee Ahmed Hoshiye cleans the penultimate room. Photographer Mark Israel Salem has finished lunch. His office is waiting. Moram Misrahi has picked up her daughter from school and now has to make lunch. In the long term, the Oslo Peace Treaty, the so-called Oslo Accords, foresaw two states in the Holy Land. Palestine was to be created next to Israel in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. In 1995, transitory areas were established, areas that still exist today. A areas are under Palestinian control. Israel and Palestine share the control of the B areas. C areas are solely controlled by Israel. In the West Bank, the C areas cover about 60% of the land. 120 Jewish settlements and outposts have been built here. Shagao Gitahun lives in Katamon, in the west part of town. Shagao's parents migrated from Ethiopia to Israel. In Ethiopia, Jews were often threatened with persecution. Israel promised safety and a better life. Shagal has a passion for theater. ‫בשנים <laughs> Shlomo Lecker is a lawyer and specializes in human rights. He often represents Bedouin in Israeli courts. Usually go to your office? Yeah, usually I go to the office and uh, sometimes 
I meet uh, clients. Uh, unfortunately, most of my clients uh, cannot come to my office because uh, most of them are from the West Bank and they don't have permits to enter Jerusalem. So it's a strange situation that uh, I have to go to see them where, wherever they are. So we have actually po uh, certain locations that we meet, uh, like in gas stations sometimes, sometimes in a little restaurant on the way, or at their place if it's Bedouins who don't have cars. And uh, it's true about not only about the, the Bedouins that they don't have a permit, most people most West Bankers don't have a permit to enter Israel, so... Uh... ככה, <laughs> As you may see, driving a few kilometers, maybe three, in Jerusalem, is you pass through different worlds. And soon we'll pass by a tunnel that really divides Jerusalem from the other side. It's not the border of Jerusalem, but the minute, uh, that's how I feel for a long time, we pass by the tunnel. We're in a different place, also it's only uh, 200 to 300 meters long. And what's on the other side? It's uh, the beginning of the West Bank. Shlomo Lecker is on his way to a press conference. He wants to brief journalists on the situation of the Jehelin, a Bedouin tribe that was displaced from the Negev in the 50s and now lives in Area C, between Jerusalem and the Dead Sea. The official border of Israel and Jerusalem is here, where you, there's a checkpoint to the left of us. the main road from Jerusalem to Jericho. It's, uh, now it's a highway and it's called the, the Peace Highway. Up on the hill uh, we can see Male Domim, which is the biggest Israeli settlement in the West Bank. It's about 45,000 people, Israelis, who live in Male Domim. Most of them are not ideological settlers, are people who moved from, mostly from Jerusalem because they uh, were offered much better conditions. Uh, they are cheaper apartments, and uh, so it's like people who want to, to improve their lifestyle, to move from a small apartment in Jerusalem to a nice big house in the West Bank. And as you see, the access is so fast and simple, it takes five minutes when there's no traffic to reach Jerusalem. So most of them don't feel that they live in a place that is officially outside the, the state of Israel.
Zahra Mizrahi has bought fresh ingredients. She wants to make fish cakes. Shagao Gitahun has a meeting which will determine his future. Mark Israel Salem works for the Jerusalem Post. In the morning, he took photos at the district court. The pictures now need to be retouched and sent. His editor may have a new commission. Not long now, until Shavuot, the celebration of the second propagation of the Ten Commandments and Jewish Thanksgiving. Shalom. <laughs> What, what is his story about that? I don't know yet, you know. Shalom. Ah, la, what is it? What is it? It's a good one. It's a good one, yes. Wow. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a I want to talk to you about something. What? What are you doing in the weeks? Do you have a day for me? Yes, there are all the food products. I want to see a photo that we didn't see, but... Something new. Something new. We've already found a few fish, and we've found a place that makes all kinds of fish. What do you think? Is it enough to be enough? יזים כן, נחמד, כאילו, אבל אתה צריך... אבל זה משהו, כאילו, זה מפעל, כאילו... משהו של כזאת? מתנחלים ציונים כאלה. יכול להיות מעניין. איפה התיק שלי? יאללה, אני זז. ביי, ביי כולם. Nearly home time for Ahmed Hoshiye. He's had to clean 25 rooms, make the beds, clean the bathrooms, vacuum the carpets. After work, he'll go back to his home village. It's close to Ramallah, on the other side of the wall in the West Bank in Area A, under Palestinian control. The Shehlin live in Area C. And who are these people on the right? These are one of the Bedouin camps, there are quite a few of them, that uh, they live on the side of the road. Uh, as you can see, the way they live is 
very, very different from where we come from. Uh, it really doesn't suit the 21st century in any way. And it's not a choice they made. It's not because they want to live like this, but they're forced to live like this. Because they cannot get any building rights wherever they are. Hello. Ah. Ah, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. يعني من هنا ساعة ونص بك بفكر طن إن شاء الله. آه. يلا مع السلامة. إن شاء الله خمس ونص بكي بكي إن شاء الله Shagao is heading to a municipal building at the town center. He's not yet quite sure what's to become of him. Jerusalem is among the poorest cities in Israel. There's virtually no industry here, and it has none of the trade of cities like Tel Aviv. The city makes its living through religion, culture and tourism. When the political situation is unstable, tourists stay away. The reason why we have to go now on this very bad dirt road is that the people that we are going to visit don't have access to them, to the highway. Nobody kept access for them while the highway was built. <laughs> Where are we going? 
אנחנו נגיע לשם, נראה מה מציעים לי לעבוד. איזה עבודות יש להם להציע לי. איזה עבודה אתה רוצה? אה, מחפש משהו במטבח. זה מה שרצית? תמיד. לא, זה לא מה שרציתי. אנחנו הנה, בדיוק הגענו. To get home, Ahmed has to cross the Kalandia checkpoint every day. Right behind it, Ramallah, the West Bank, and shops where he can run errands if his wife needs anything. Hello? What's the news? How are you? Oh, did you see? What do you want? أنا على المعبر هيني برجع لي شغرة تكيكتي مشان أحكي مع شوشو بس أنزل طيب برن طيب ماشي يلا يلا مع السلامة Yes, <laughs> أو من أربعة عد خمسة ربع ليلة. ما هذا فيديو كذا بود هذا إف أو. ذا بهرخص بيم مجيم عصمايت. شذا يتر بخدر نكي ذا نكرة. شذا أمر يش دوارم شميتصرم أتام. את הדברים שהם מייצרים, שצריך לשטוף אותם, כאילו, בצורה... אני לא יודע בדיוק לתאר לך, אבל זה מה שכתוב לי פה. טוב, בסדר, יש עוד משהו אחר? האמת, קיבלתי היום. The old city with its markets is a magnet for tourists and pilgrims from all over the world. Only very few make it to a Bedouin village like Chayn al Ahma. It lies east of Jerusalem, near the Israeli settlements, and is threatened by the E1 building plans. The plans for E1 are controversial in Israel as well. This is Jerusalem. East Jerusalem, as you see. Azaria is the Palestinian town, Malé Domim. That's the settlement? The settlement, yes. Uh, E1 is the blue part that Israel wants to build here, so Malé Domim and Jerusalem will connect. It will be like one city which means that there will be very difficult access from the south of the West Bank to the west of the West Bank. It will either have to go through Israel or way around. That's why there's so much political resistance to this E1 story that everybody knows about. And uh, the people that I represent are 23 little communities. That you can see they are marked with this little... Yellow spots. Yellow spots, so, yeah. And they... The intention of the state now, the Israeli state, is to take them all out to an uh, area near Jericho. So they will not be in E1, they will not be in, in the area that is actually uh, what Israel would like to annex, make part of Israel.
For the fish cakes, Moran Mizrahi has cut white fish into cubes, then adds ginger and lemon zest, chopped parsley, coriander, and garlic. She doesn't only run a bakery, but also a cafe and a bar. So far, she's had a very stressful day. At the employment office, Shagal finds it hard to decide. His counselor wants to put him on an advanced training course, but Shagal wants to earn money. Shagal wants to take a look at a gardening job. There's also a chance of work at a hotel, in a factory, or as a builder. Hoshiye passes through the Kalandia checkpoint six days a week. It takes slightly longer to get from the West Bank into Israel than the other way around. The Israeli government does not permit Jewish citizens to cross to the other side of the border for reasons of security. Uh, good day. Uh, my name is Shlomo Lecker and... Uh, you hear me? No. And for... Okay, uh, I happen to represent uh, most of the communities here, the Bedouin communities, for many years. And the reason why we decided to summon uh, a press conference is that we see uh, a quite a dramatic change in what's going to happen here in the near future, probably in the next year, if we'll not find a way to prevent it. 